Well, hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You. And today I thought I'd bring a cash stuffing of some of my side income money. And if that sounds like something that interests you, then let's get right into it. All right, so let's see. I have the markers on the table because I am gonna be doing a couple of savings challenges as well as stuffing some income into my regular sinking funds. I do need to kind of budget it all out first. And then, um, yeah, then after that, we'll get to stuffing. So while we're doing the budget, let me just talk to you guys about a couple of changes that will probably be coming to my channel. First of all, as many of you know, I quit my job. And so a lot of this side income, <laughs> let me say it like this, side income is probably going to start filtering into being main income until I decide I want to go back to work as a nurse or apply for a PRN job or a part-time job. Okay. I'm thinking about establishing a bills binder, which is where I'll stuff money out of each of my side incomes into specific folders for my bills so that I can be at least one month ahead on every bill. And once they come in, then I'll be ready to pay. Now, a lot of you know that I have different sources of side income. If you don't, I'll link one of my side income videos up here, um, but I do have multiple streams of income. And so I want to be able to take small amounts out of each of those different sources of income and put them into that folder. So I know for certain for the following month, I'll have all the bills paid out of just the side income from the previous month. Now, of course, I already have some income sources that I can see what will be coming in in the next few months. Um, and so it's not really such a safety measure as it is um, a budgeting format for me, okay? Because before I budgeted and paid the majority of my bills out of my main income and then my side income, I could do savings challenges. I could put extra in my sinking funds if I wanted to, but I kind of had just willy nilly side income, do whatever I want. But again, since my side income has become my main income, then I'm going to need to actually budget my bills out of that money as well. And so I'm thinking a bills folder or binder will actually help me to do that. And I'm sure many of you are wondering, what is it like to quit your job? I will say um, it has its highs and lows, okay? Um, right now, I'm on an incredible high and purely grateful that I even have the ability to do this. Um, but there was a time when I first quit or even put in my resignation, letter of resignation after working at the company for 11 years. It really, you know, kind of upset me. And I was more disappointed in the company than I was disappointed for losing my job. Um, but then I realized I'm just being gently pushed in the right direction that I need to go. And so I'm grateful for this break. And yeah, I do have to reevaluate some things. You know, for a minute here, money has been something I have to think about, but not something I have to be overly concerned with. And I'm hoping to keep it in that same format, that same way going on through this transitional period. And if it starts to feel a little bit tight, then I'll go get me another job. OK, <laughs> but for right now, I'm enjoying having the freedom to do what I truly want to do. And so if you ask me what it's like to quit your job, if you got all your side incomes lined up already, it's pretty sweet. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's pretty sweet. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are going through much bigger obstacles than just having to leave their job, but still having income sources coming in. You know what I mean? Like I'm not really out there that bad. So um, yeah, but for future videos, you will be seeing me budget some of this side income into an actual budget for my bills, sinking funds, and savings challenges. And so I want you guys to be a part of that ride. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and click the button down below. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And yeah, let's get right into this budget and cash stuff with some side income that I have. Should I keep calling it side income or should I just say with income? Because side income has turned into main income. You know what I'm saying. Okay, <laughs> let's get started. All right, so first and foremost, I want to go ahead and budget some money. And this isn't all of the money that I made on Etsy. This is going to be some Etsy income, okay? This isn't all the money that I made on Etsy. I still have some that I did not cash out. And I have quite a bit more even that I did cash out, but I'm kind of holding it to the side, not necessarily putting it in a, in a format just yet. 
Um, but maybe when I establish that bills binder, I will be putting some of that additional Etsy money into those folders. Right now, it's kind of just sitting as a buffer in my account. So if something comes due, then I have the money to pay without thinking about which fund I need to take it out of. Okay. And I do still have another paycheck coming from my job, which will be coming next week. And then um, I did my taxes and whoa, whoa, your girl's getting a refund, which I figured I would because I always have the most deductions taken out of my check all year long. And so if you were here with me at the start of this journey last year, I received a tax refund for over $9,000. I'll put that up here. And so this year it wasn't quite that large, but I am getting a refund nonetheless, which will help in establishing those bills binders. All right, all that being said, let's get to the chase. What I'm gonna be <laughs> budgeting and stuffing today is gonna be $560, that's the amount of Etsy. And thank you guys so much, hand clap, to everybody who bought my savings challenges, um, the scratch off challenges, which I have here because I'm gonna be stuffing that one today. It looks like this. Um, and so you just scratch off some of the circles and determine how much you need to save in this challenge. Also, this budget book, which is the Easy Cash Budget Weekly Planner, I did release this on Etsy as well for a digital download. And you can print your all the different sizes for one price, which is A6, um, Happy Planner size, the full eight and a half by 11, and I think even half sheet size. So if you're interested in that, you can go over to Etsy. Um, my link is down below and you can actually click it and print it yourself. If you don't want to print it and you want actually the book itself that I'm using to budget today, then you would go down to the Amazon storefront down below, click the link, and I have about five different budgeting books that you can use. And um, yeah, you can click down there and purchase directly from Amazon and they'll send you a physical book. But if you just want to download the sheet so you can print them the way you want or what type of paper you want, then you can do that down below through my Etsy link. Also in my Etsy storefront, there's a few savings challenges that I've been doing. So click the Etsy link regardless. Take a look around. I did put a discount code down there just through the end of February for, I believe it's 20%, 20% off through the end of February. So you can click that link and it'll automatically apply the discount whenever you shop my Etsy store. And then the last thing I want to say, because I get a question every single time I use this calculator, which you guys know I love it, or when I use my markers, um, or even the cash jar that I have for the penny challenge, people ask me, where do I get these items? I got all of my items off of Amazon. And again, they're linked below in my Amazon storefront down below. Click that link and then you'll be taken directly to a cash budgeting section, which has every single thing that I use, including my little key holder wallet that I'm going to be using. That's down there as well. So... Yeah, take a look around down there. Most things that you need are probably down below in my um, in my description bar, okay? So to everybody who bought the savings challenges as well as the digital downloads for the cash budget planner and some easy savings challenges that are downloadable in different sizes from my Etsy store, that contributed to this $560 that I'm gonna be budgeting for today. Let me put this here. And um, like I said, I've received probably over double that. So you guys are really out there killing the game and I really, really appreciate it. And I'm going to put Etsy. So that'll be a total of $560. Today I'm using the Sharpie pen um, and it's like a felt tip pen. It's so bomb. Um, and this one is linked, I believe, I believe in my Amazon storefront as well. But if not, you can find it at Walmart or Office Max or something like that. All right, for bills, I'm not going to pay any bills out of this 560. As I said, if I have any additional bills, I'll be taking it out of the extra money that I left into my checking account. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. This is mainly going to be for cash envelopes, sinking funds, and giving. So for cash envelopes, I only want to stuff one, which will be gas. And I want to put $30 in there. As you may know, I have a budget for groceries, so I don't need to worry about that. So I'm only going to put $30 towards cash envelopes. And that means remaining, I'll have $530. Okay? Giving. I do want to put um, giving and I will put $500. No, $500. I will put $55, which is just about 10% of that. And so let me get the calculator. So 530 minus 55, that equals $475 left, um, ready to be stuffed into sinking funds and savings challenges. 
I do want to stuff certain categories that I've already kind of predetermined. So let me go ahead and write those out and then I'll fast forward this part. I know that I haven't been who I was. I am supposed to be the one you can trust. I feel so useless because I... All right, so these are the only categories that I'm planning on stuffing out of this Etsy income. So if I have a total of $475, we'll go ahead and subtract out of that. For glasses, I wanna put $20. Um, and as many of you may know, I spent about close to $300. I think it was like closer to between $250 and $300 on glasses this year. So I wanna make sure that I have enough by this time next year to be able to purchase glasses again for my kids, which I'm gonna be trying to put about $20 every time I stuff, okay? So that brings us down to 455. And then for boss, since the most of this money came from boss moves, I'm gonna put 110 in that. That'll be 345. One month ahead, I definitely wanna put at least $150. That's gonna be one of my greatest stuffings just because I wanna ensure that I have that safety net. And that's one thing about not having a job job or one of the what it's like to kind of like quit your job, what it feels like is a bit less secure. And so you have to rely on your faith, I think even that much more that things will work out. And sometimes having just a little bit more in a certain cushion labeled one month ahead <laughs> kind of gives you that cushion. Um, Jace, I'm gonna be putting $50. I'm still trying to replenish the um, PS4 that I had for him. And then for myself, I wanna put $50. Oh, I don't know why I put giving up here. $50 for myself again. And then for challenges, let me make sure I did all this right. Hold on. So that should be it, I think, except for challenges. So let me just see how much this is. 20 plus 110 plus 150 plus 50 plus 50. Okay, that's 380. And I have 475 minus 380. So the other $95 will be going towards challenges. And we'll be able to see how that's dispersed based on what I scratch on the scratch off challenge, okay? So that brings this total to $475. And that means out of 530, there'll be 55 remaining of which that's going to giving, so that will be zero. So let me just write it all down here so I'll have track of what I did. 560 minus 30 for cash envelopes and sinking funds of 475, that includes savings challenges savings of 55 and no bills. Let me just make sure this adds up. Yeah, that's right. That brings that to a zero balance. So that's exactly what the plan will be for this Etsy income. Um, and I don't know, I, I thought about not doing a monthly budget with me for you know, budgeting my income for the rest of the month, but I might do it just because if I have that bills budget binder, I kind of need to be breaking down exactly what I'm gonna put in each envelope over the course instead of just doing it check to check. I hope that didn't confuse you, but I do still have left for the month a check from work, which I'll budget that separately. And then I have my YouTube income, my book sales, and my Amazon affiliates, and then some more Etsy money. So I think I'll lump those last four, which would be my YouTube, book sales, Amazon affiliates, and Etsy money into one budgeting video to kind of determine what I need for the rest of this month and the start of next month. And then kind of do that each month from there going forward. So some changes are coming, but you know, I hope you guys are here to stick with me and kind of navigate through it because everything doesn't stay the same. You know, there are times when things will shift and change and we have to shift and change with them. And so, yeah, I think it's all gonna work out, but it's just gonna look different as I present it, you know? All right, so as far as the cash stuffing tracker, let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's see. Jace, he's getting 50. So for Jace, we're just gonna get a $50 bill. And the same thing with glass, with myself, a $50 bill. Glasses, we'll just get a 20. And so I usually just kind of go down and try to get the largest denominations possible. I try to fix. 
Yeah, because everything that I have is going to be stuffed. So <laughs> let me um, just make sure that I have the correct denominations. I'm going to set up and we will get ready to get started. I'll be right back. All right, so I have all the money together from the bank and we need $560, which is 1, 52, 53, 20, 40. Wait, hold on. She already messing up. Let's get this together. You know, you want to spit on your fingers. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. That's gross. But anyway, <laughs> all right, let's do it. $560 what we need. 1, 52, 53, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 560 dollars. So we're going to be using that 560. We have $95 for the challenges total to work with. So I'm going to start with the challenges first. So let me just do that. I'm only going to be stuffing two challenges today, which is going to be the scratch and save for $1,000 challenge. This money will be going towards my emergency fund once it's complete. And then I'm also going to do the 365 penny challenge. This challenge is available as a PDF for free down in my description box. You can click down there and download this and do, go along with the penny challenge along with me. Okay. It's supposed to take 52 weeks. And so every time I've been stuffing, I've been trying to stuff at least two of these pennies, but we're getting to some of the larger amounts. If I have the funds, I'll stuff three, you know? When I get to the end of this, I'll determine if I wanna put it into a specific folder that I need to pay something, or if I want to put it into my emergency fund. I know for certain though, this one will be going into my emergency fund. All right, so let's start with the scratch off challenge. And that's only because the penny challenge will be directly affected by how much I have left, okay? Let me set up all the funds first. All right, let's start with scratching off. I wanna try to scratch off two. I'm hoping I don't get any really large ones like $85, but we're gonna see what we could do, okay? So let me try to scratch off two and I'll start with this one. Oh, skip or double. Okay, well then the next one I'm gonna double. Whatever it is, I don't wanna skip. <laughs> Whenever you come across a skip or double, you can either skip saving altogether or you can scratch another one and double what's underneath. So I'm going to double what's underneath and we're going to, um, I don't know if you guys used to ever watch that show called Whammy, but he would be like, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, stop. And that's me. I'm stopping on this one. Oh my God, skip or double again. How is that possible? This happened to me before too. All right, so I have two skipper doubles out there. So that means I'd have to quadruple something. I'm just gonna double whatever I scratch next. So we'll say no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, stop. All right, this is the one. Ah, oh, is that possible? What in the world? Am I supposed to skip today? Is that what this thing is telling me? My goodness, I can't pick a number to save my life. I think I didn't scratch all the skipper doubles out of this one today. In one day, I'm going to double what's next, but come on, let it be something good. Because at this point, I think I'm supposed to like quadruple times double, October, what is it? Like eight times double it. I can't even. All right, let's go with this one. My heart's being pulled here. I'm going to try to double what's underneath here. We don't know if that's going to work, but I'm going to do it. Oh, dang. All right, I'm going to double it. 45 means I have $90 to go into this challenge. And that means I only have $5 left for my little penny challenge. Oh, well, I can make it work because I got a lot of coins in my, in my little key holder too. So for the scratch and save challenge, that is here. I'm going to put $90. And I had put, did I get some small denominations? Hold on. 
Okay, I went back to my little um, cash stuffing tracker so I could see what denominations I was supposed to have. I, I remembered I pulled some small ones for this specifically. So I guess I'm gonna be putting some of these small ones in this folder. So I'll do 20, 40, 60, because that's what I had. 70, 80, 85, 90. Penny, I have $5 left for the penny challenge. That's 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. All right, $90 is going into the scratch and save. How much do I have in here altogether? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 4, 5, 10, 15. Okay, wait. 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 60, 80, 94. Yeah, 415. 415 so far in the scratch and save. It will end up being over a thousand because if you just stuffed, if you skipped every time you got to a skip and a double, you'll end up on a thousand dollars. But I just like doubled, for instance, this one. So that means I'll have more than a thousand. That's why it says a thousand plus. So that's it for this binder for today. And I'm going to put the scratch and save challenge to the side. All right, so next is going to be the penny challenge. And while I'm here, I'm also going to stuff my cash envelope for gas because it's in this same little key holder. All right, so in the key holder, I have, let me see. This is some spare money that really needs to be going in the Salisa fund, but um, I don't think I have anything else left, no. I'll put that extra money into gas because that was something I had left from a change from a 20. And then I need to take out all these coins. So let me do that. Hold on one second. All right, so let's see. In gas, I'm gonna put this extra $15. And I'm also gonna stuff the 30. I'm going to set this to the side right now though, so we can figure out how much for the penny challenge and I might need this calculator. So let me first see how much I have. Two coins, a dollar, two dollars, one dollar, two dollars, one dollar, one dollar, one dollar, Okay, let me see, how am I gonna do this? I think in my penny challenge, I'm gonna stuff that $1.26. Okay, so that's one. And then I'm gonna stuff, I have a $5 bill I'm supposed to be taking out of here. So really I have five, six, almost $7. Hmm. I guess I'll go up to the highest one I can color, which I think is going to be 616, but let me just make sure. 5, 6, 650, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 690. Yeah, I don't have enough for that one. I don't have enough for these two together. I'm going to do $1.26 and then 616, and that should be $7.42, which I have five, six, seven, and I have over 7.42 here. So I'm gonna put all of this into this jar and color those two coins. I was really hoping to have more into this penny challenge. I, I was certain that scratch off challenge wasn't gonna take that much. Let's get for doubles, I'll be messing you up sometime. Hold on. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, it's all savings. It's just in a fun way. You know what I mean? In a way that makes it fun for us, but it literally is just all savings. So let me get my um, markers. Uh, what color? Where am I going? What am I doing? Who is she? Where is she? I'm gonna color this peachy one on this first row. All right, so it looks like I'm gonna have to get to the meat and potatoes. I mean, we getting we getting larger and larger every time. <laughs> you see, I'm totally avoiding down here. I'm doing all the little onesie twosies. Uh, there's not gonna be any more time for that, man. All right, so that's it for the penny challenge. Let me get that off the table, and I'm also gonna package up the markers really quick. You always posting up bitches. 
trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't time to stash the cash envelope, which is going to be for gas. And I was going to put $30 in there, but I forgot I had this $15 left over for my own envelope. Um, and I think I'm just going to put it towards gas just in case. If I need to get something, then I'll pull an extra out. But for gas, I was going to put a 20 and a 10. So that's going to be 20, 30, 45, 20, 30, 45. The price of gas going up, I might need this $45. And that's why I thought, well, let me just go ahead and move it. Clearly, I didn't need it for anything that I need it right now. So and that's going to go right back down in here. And then zip it up. This little key holder found down below in my Amazon storefront. This particular sinking funds binder is an Agenda 52 from Hobby Lobby. The folders themselves, the binder, I mean the um, envelopes, I made these and I have a tutorial. I'll link it up above on how to actually make frosted envelopes yourself. So there are some that sell it on Etsy. I'm sure you can find some clear envelopes or these are made out of vellum paper. I'll list the word here, vellum. So you can either make them yourself Look on Etsy for someone who sells vellum envelopes or just look for someone that says, sells clear cash envelopes. Okay. So for right now, I'm going to set up my little binder. Let's see. Janae is not going to be getting any money for today. Jace is, however. And just because he has a smaller amount, he has 420, 1, 2, 3, 4, 420. And I'm going to be putting a $50 bill in his today. So he'll be up to 470. I think Janae has five, five something. Oh no, she has 630. Yeah, we need to get him up here. All right, so he'll have 470. And that's one, two, three, four, 450, 470. In Jace's folder. Next is myself. Um, I was thinking about getting an Apple Watch or an, a Fitbit, and I was asking you guys, hold on, there's a shadow there. Take that coin thing down. And I was asking you guys about which one to get, so I was talking to my sister about it, and she just upgraded hers to the new Apple Watch 7 series. So she has a 3, and she said, I can have it. Okay, I'm all about a free gift. I'm going over there to pick that up, so I don't even need to spend my little money on that. I'll find something else to spend my money on. I should have 320 right now. One, two, 53, 320, and I'm going to be adding a $50 bill. So that makes me about $100 behind Jace. One, two, 53, 350, 370. Um, and I'm going to write it on the back. Y'all, I need to print some more trackers and stop being crazy about this because... The trackers are listed down below in my description for free for you to download as well. If you need some trackers, you don't have to pay for them. They're down below linked. Um, maybe not the prettiest, but you know, if you're looking for that stylish look, go on and buy yourself some. But if you're looking for just some to keep track like I have, then I mean, there's a, a free download right in the description box, okay? Car maintenance, I'm not putting anything into, even though I do need to go get some car work done. I have plenty. Household, I'm not putting anything into, or birthdays, or medical or clothing. Christmas is going to have to wait. Santa, if you be... Yeah, hold on on that. Boss <laughs> is going to get $110. And that's mainly because a lot of this extra income comes from this boss moves. And it has one, two, three, three, five, three, ten. Three, ten. Okay, so three, ten. I must have took 25 out of here for something. I usually take some money out of here for postage and then get it back when I get my Etsy money. So 310 and I'm gonna be adding in 110, which is gonna be a $100 bill and a $10 bill. And I might take some more out of here for another little venture that I've been thinking of, but we'll see. One, two, three, four, four, 10, 15, 420 is what's in boss right now. And um, yeah. I'm happy about that. That seems to be enough for what I need to do. And more will be coming towards the end of the month, you know? I'm not putting anything in travel today. Nothing for Gingy. Nothing for beauty. I do want to stuff one month ahead. And I've already explained why it's so important to me to stay on top of this one for my peace of mind. <laughs> yes. 750 in there right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven fifty. And I'm gonna be adding. 
150, which will be 20, 40, 60, 81, and then a $50 bill. And that will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, fifty-eight, eight, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, nine hundred dollars total in one month ahead. Which means, hey, we got us a little cushion right now, but I'm still gonna beef it up before the end of the month. Just know that. Okay, so that's that one. Glasses. I do want to put some money in glasses. I'm just gonna be putting twenty dollars. I don't have a tracker for glasses, but I'm putting twenty in there for today. And hopefully I can get this one funded to 300 and then I won't have to worry about it. This is one that's definitely gonna have a cap on the dollar amount. Um, and the rest is going towards giving. Nothing's going in groceries. Giving is going to get $55. And right now I have one, 52, 53, 350, 70, 90, 390, and I will add in 55. And that's 1, 52, 53, 54, 20, 40, 45. 445, which is quite a bit because I'm trying to do the giveaway. As you know, I'm having a giveaway, live giveaway on the 18th. I'll be putting out a community post sometime this week to speak about that, about Friday's giveaway. Okay? Um, yeah, so I think that is everything. For this video, what I want you guys to do is comment the hashtag changes. Because there are some changes that are going to be coming to my channel and to my financial situation. You know what I mean? So we're going to do hashtag changes and receive that. I'm going to receive that from all you guys. Every time I see you guys post it, I'm going to be like, yes, changes is good. Changes is fine. Changes we're going to work through. I'm having faith about the changes. So hashtag changes if you made it all the way to the end of the video. So yeah, do all the things. Don't forget to like the video. Comment hashtag changes down below and then subscribe if you're not subscribed and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified. Share this video with your friends who might need the encouragement to just keep going even though things look to be changing right in front of your eyes. Sometimes we don't know what's coming down the line and so we have to just be grateful for the changes that we see and hopeful for the things we do not see, okay? And that's where I'm at right now. I think that's everything, you guys. A new video will be coming up shortly. I'm trying to upload at least two to three times per week. So yeah, just expect more towards the middle to the end of the month, things start rolling per usual because that's when my money comes in. And I think that's everything. Don't forget, I also started a second channel. I'm gonna be posting my first vlog um, probably this next week coming up on Monday or Tuesday. And so if you guys haven't, look down in my description box for my vlog channel and go ahead and subscribe over there as well so you can see more behind the scenes of what I do in my life, cooking, cleaning, you know, hustling kids around, running little errands, things like that, okay? All right, I think that's everything for today. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate all of your love and support. You don't know how greatly you guys have directly affected my life and I appreciate it, okay? All right, I think that's everything. Take care.